Momentum. So, hello, I'm in the garden. It's not really raining yet, it's started to sprinkle and I don't want to risk my phone. I'm only here to water my little mini greenhouse, obviously it's got a roof, so even when we get beautiful rain for days and days, I still have to come out and water the bed every now and then. Um, there's not a lot growing in it, but I want to prepare the soil for when I finally put my peppers in it. Uh, I did put some beans in, so I do need to make sure that they are getting watered. Uh, it's also my worst bed for ants at the moment. Um, so I'm going to um, try a natural remedy for ants. Uh, and I'm going to talk about that in this video, very quick video. The reason I'm doing this video on cinnamon is because I found out so many wonderful things about cinnamon uh, while looking into um, environmentally friendly ways to deal with certain pests in my garden. Um, and cinnamon kept popping up. So I've been reading a few journals, um, Google Scholar all the way. Cinnamon was amazing. It uh, had so many good things. It was antibacterial, antimicrobial, uh, fungicidal, insecticidal, all sorts of things the cinnamon did. Uh, some were using it in a powder form and some were using it um, essential, using essential oils. So um i will be doing both now that i've read all the great stuff um they used it on tomato plants and not only did it um show that it was a fungicidal um effect but it also um helped the plants grow so they had uh, less problems with funguses and they grew better they had a higher dry weight so that's amazing i'm definitely using that on my tomato plants um, which are tomato plants are more inclined to get uh, have problems with funguses so uh, that's a great um, tip and then also they've been it's been used in pest management so I am going to show you how I'm going to uh, use the cinnamon powder and the cinnamon oils that I have and um, I am going to keep my fingers crossed, say a little prayer and hope for the best. We uh, also need to be careful how much we use, we don't want to use too much um, of either the powder or the um, essential oils and um, yeah so I'm going to do that in the kitchen, I just thought I'd start this video in the garden. Because I needed to be out here anyway and it's uh, certainly more spacious than my baby kitchen and uh, it's green and it's beautiful here I love my garden so hopefully I'll keep this short and uh, you'll learn some new stuff about this wonderful spice which is also very good in a cup of coffee or hot chocolate. Hello, so I'm in the kitchen. I wanted to just show you the two methods that I'm going to be using to create a fungicide and pesticide using cinnamon products. I'm using the essential oil 
to make a pesticide and the powder will be used to make a fungicide um so here we go so in a metal bowl we want to drop approximately half a gram uh, of essential oils which is approximately 10 drops with hot water we don't want to do more than that because uh, due to its weed control properties more than that could be detrimental to the plant perfect and this will be used as pest control so the next uh, thing I'm going to make is a fungicide uh, I looked at a study that used cinnamon as a fungicide and what they did was used a 0.5 to 1% solution um, so that would in in a layman's terms for this half litre bottle I would need to use five grams so one gram per hundred mils um, so I will use uh, five grams measure that out it's about a teaspoon with half a litre of hot water let it cool and then I will transfer it to to the bottle and that is going to be a fungicide <laughs> Mm, this smells very good. So the pesticides cooling, fungicides brewing, and they will be transferred to their particular containers. Essential oils better stored in glass. Uh, the powdered water. Uh, can be stored in a plastic, but obviously wait until it's cooled down and that is it And that is it for me in the kitchen two Possible uses of the many of cinnamon So I thought I should mention that it's worth waiting until it's stopped raining before you apply any treatments to the garden as they will be washed away So thank you for watching I hope you try out uh, cinnamon in your garden. I hope you have success. I hope I have success. But, uh, Studies, science has told me that there are many amazing benefits to using cinnamon in your garden. Environmentally friendly, antimicrobial, antifungus, uh, insecticidal, a caricide. Um it's just amazing and um, easily available and it's organic and so yes let's fingers crossed and um, until next time over and out thank you thank you thank you for watching Goodbye.